This is the truth about manifesting something. Everyone in this world wants success. They want money. They want freedom. They want freedom from their mind, freedom from thought. There's, you know, a few parts that you're missing in that thing. And the truth about manifestation is that there are so many people out here that enjoy the feeling of thinking about their desire, about their success, about getting the baddest girl in the world or getting that nice car. There's something that they're missing. It's simply holding that feeling of that thought inside of you. Because you see, when people are so comfortable with regularly thinking that thought and connecting that with their feeling, they get excited. They have so much joy and feeling and pushing that energy out right away. But that is because they are simply not worthy of that object, of that material thing in this world. And that is why they simply have such a short term, short term, short term happiness when it comes to connecting that thought that they think with their feeling. And boom, they let it out with energy, just pure energy, and they lose themselves. So the next time you are thinking about a specific thought, whether it's you wanting to be successful, you wanting to have this enlightenment, fulfillment in life, this money, success, new cars, new, new woman, I want you to get a pen and a paper. Write down your dream day. How it would feel. Write down your dream day, what you would do in the morning, what you would do in the afternoon, and what you would do in the evening. And I want you to keep that thought inside of your mind. And when you get that feeling, keep it inside of you as well. Connect that thought with your feeling and hold it, hold it. It may feel weird at first, but hold on to it. When, as you're reading, hold on to that feeling and you'll start to see these images come up in your mind of who you are trying to be, who you actually are trying to become. And simply, if you keep on reading that every single morning, every single night, before you go to bed, when you wake up in the morning, you will start to impress your subconscious mind, which is right here, your pineal gland. You'll start to impress it and it will keep on releasing this, this literal like paragraph that you're like, Keep on telling yourself that you're going to be in that state. You're going to be in that place. You're going to be in the, on that beach with that beautiful woman, with that nice car, with that fucking villa. You are keep impressing the subconscious mind that you keep telling yourself that it's going to impress it and it's going to come back to you because the subconscious mind will take it literally and that will give you the intention to take action and actions backed up by faith will then give you that fucking manifestation and it will poof come into you like in one to two months of just taking action those little steps those short-term goals into those long-term visions and you can create anything you desire so as i told you this wasn't a long video but the truth of manifestation is simply the word hold, holding on to that feeling and using that feeling to your advantage, which will be backed up by action with a whole lot of faith. Enjoy. Times I've heard people say, I have faith in God. 
I have faith that this or that will happen. I believe that God will do this for me. Faith talk is very easy, but it is hard to demonstrate this faith. When people say, I have faith, it is mostly usually words without action. We say, I believe that God will provide for me, and then we go and worry about tomorrow. I believe that I'm healed, but then we continue to doubt the healing power of Jesus. We say, I have faith in God, that this is going to be my day, my week, my year. But when things don't work out, even for a moment, we begin to worry. We get anxious and tensed up. Is that really faith? In Hebrews 11.1, 1, the Bible defines faith as confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. It also says in James 2.26, as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without deeds is dead. This means that when faith is not accompanied by actions, it is empty. It cannot bear any